Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna make a like a frame, but on each side it's gonna have in different languages my name starts with. Sort of kind of like that. And it actually came out pretty prettier than I actually expected. So what you're gonna need is uh, just cardboard, doesn't really matter which one. You're gonna cut it out in a square. And then a smaller square for where you could put your picture in or write your letter or whatever. You're actually gonna need two. And they could just be the same size. It's just that the second one, don't cut out one in the middle because that's gonna be the back. And for me, for the cardboard, I just use a cereal box. I used Honey Nut Cheerios. You can use whatever kind however it doesn't really matter you just need to cut out the squares really so I was just you know cutting them out and you're also going to need some glue obviously some scissors so you can cut it out or an exacto knife I don't really use my exacto knife I kind of use that black black and white one you see I'm using right now because I have a couple of them, so I might as well use them out. So I just save my X-Acto knife for when I really need it. Um, and this really, it's, it's not that difficult. And I think it only took me maybe an hour. But usually when I make things or do things, it takes me an hour. So that little square, you're just gonna like, you don't have to have it. You could use it for a picture or something, but you don't have to have it. Next, for if you want to decorate or whatever, you either could use tape or use scrapbook paper, which I'm using, or any kind of paper. I would suggest if you're going to use the paper, cut out a bigger piece than the size that you're using right now and cut slits, uh, like cut the corners. And then inside of the square, cut like a mini square and then cut the slits. And then for you to fold it, you just cut the middle of line, the lines. <laughs> I'm very bad at expl explaining. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you besides you just looking. Now, you just saw when I cut when I folded it I cut off the little triangle right there only because I really didn't need it there and maybe I could use it for something else so for the paper just fold it and for me I wanted to make sure that it would stay there so I used the scissors to like press it down and move around the glue a little bit and that actually really helped so I would suggest doing that if you don't have any scissors or you don't want to use the scissors then it's fine you could just use something else uh, so pff, yeah <laughs> and for the tape if you want to use it I know like when you tape it it makes it has that line where you know like there's part of it and I really kind of don't know how to get that away I don't I don't know if you know what I'm saying or not again I'm terrible at explaining things um so right now I'm just taping the back and I actually got this tape on clearance for like less than two dollars at Dollar General and I say that's a great deal so anything you find on clearance or discounts or whatever just do it i've been trying to only get things on clearance or discounts or whatever you know but i do need things that aren't like on discounts or clearance or whatever so yeah kind of a problem but it's all good it's all good and I don't know if I said this already, but I'm really happy with the results I have. And right now I'm using E6000. And you'll see probably at the, like in a little while, but for some reason my E6000 had a hole 
on the side and I have no idea how it got there. It's like too many holes. I, I honestly, I don't even know when it got there. It just happened and I'm just like, why is it glue on my hand? So I was pressing it and I found two holes, which was not good, but I covered it at the end. I like I didn't really cover up the glue did because later on when I was using it the glue would go on there so it kind of clogged it up so that's fine and I do need to stock up on some and I kind of made a mistake with the glue because I meant to leave this like the top side open as you just saw me kind of like put my scissors under and open it so I could put picture through I actually forgot about that and I have no idea what I was thinking you can make a stand in the back for it to stand uh, I just wasn't thinking about it so I didn't make one and it's kind of hard kind of easy but for an easy way you could just get a back of a frame and just glue it on the back of your frame that you just made or I made or you could actually make a stand with cardboard which that's the hard one it's not that hard but yeah uh, I use French Spanish and Italian I think so for the languages that is and I really thought that was really cool and I've been wanting to do this for a little while so I'm actually happy that I did it. And I was going to have the red like kind of outline all of them but I didn't feel like it so I just did the English one. So yeah and you can see that my cutting skills aren't that great <laughs> as you can tell all that terrible terrible cutting ways, some crooked, some definitely all uneven, but it's fine with me. So, yeah, there you go. That's the video. Stay tuned until the end, which I don't know if you guys actually do or not, but I'm going to tell you about the giveaway, so yeah. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so the giveaway is over, and now I'm going to do the winners. I guess like show you it. Anyways, so I have to keep my head this way because of the lighting. No. So weird. Anyways, so I wrote all of the names down that I could that I saw. So now Jam Lover 229, which is a guy, so, because it's blue, so, of the guys, he won, now I'm gonna see if I can get a girl, although I should have just separated it, so like, one's for a guy, one's for a girl, hey, a girl came, I think it's, uh, Nadiana Apsi, I don't know how to say that right, there I think you can see so I'm sorry for whoever didn't win but those are the winners so